Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look, and power on the Janisa Digital Laser Infrared Thermometer. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So the model number of this Janisa Infrared Thermometer is AD6530B. And now let's go ahead and open up the box. And let's remove the contents from the box. So that's the box emptied out. And let's go ahead and put the box to one side. And as you can see, the infrared thermometer comes with a rectangular 9 volt battery. Okay, so let's set the battery down for now and let's move on to this pouch here. So there is a loop here to strap the pouch onto a belt. And now let's pop open the flap of the pouch. And go ahead and pop the infrared thermometer out. And let's see what else is in here. So there appears to be a user manual and just making sure there's nothing else left inside of the pouch. We can set it down as well. So we have the Janisa digital laser infrared thermometer. Let's set it down for now and spread or lay everything right out on the tabletop so you can see exactly what was from the inside of the box. So let's start off with the user manual. So it does come with a user manual. And let's just take a quick look inside it. So there is some safety information. and some other operating instructions on how to use the infrared thermometer. So the thermometer does measure from negative 50 degrees Celsius all the way to 800 degrees Celsius. So quite a very, very vast range So there is some technical data as well. And that's basically the whole of the user manual. Just gone through that. Okay, let's go ahead and set that down and to one side. Let's put it on the right hand side for now. Okay. And of course, we've seen the pouch. We can put that down as well to one side and moving on to the infrared thermometer itself as you can see it is orange in color with some black accents and obviously it does require a battery to operate the 9 volt battery that's included as you can see on the left hand side of your screen or of the frame and in terms of size as you can see holding it in my hand there with a pistol grip just to give you some perspective of the size 
of the thermometer. So it is a contactless thermometer. And taking a close-up look at the details and caution notes there. So never ever shine the laser beam into anyone's eyes as it could seriously damage them. It's nice to see there is a quality control pass sticker on the underside. And it shows the measurement range from negative or minus 50 degrees Celsius all the way to 800 degrees Celsius. So very, very extreme temperature range there. And just pressing on the trigger, let's have a listen. does have a nice click to it and of course the screen at the rear to display the readouts and other information and there are three buttons as well they are soft rubber buttons All right, let's go ahead and pop the battery compartment cover open. So there is a little notch there in the pistol grip or handle. Let's go ahead and pop that open. And of course, what we can do is pop a battery in there. So the nine volt battery that's included with the infrared thermometer. Let's go ahead and open this battery seal or remove the seal of the battery so that we can just be careful not to connect the two terminals together right there. So almost a boo boo right there with the Pen knife, but that's just fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop the 9 volt battery right there onto the terminal and popping the battery back into the compartment just like that. And of course, snapping the handle shut. And now you can see that the screen is lit up at the rear. And let's go ahead and press on the mode button. And it is a color screen, which is nice and bright. And let's press the tap on the light or illumination button, as you can see on the far right. It does brighten or dim the display right down. And the left button. Let's find out what that does. And of course, there is the mode button. As you can see, it does have a nice laser indicator to show where the thermometer is pointing to and reading the temperature right in the center of that. So 17.4 degrees Celsius, just like that. So it will continuously read as long as the trigger is held down.
and once released it will hold that temperature right there and it shows the maximum as well so just a quick play of the thermometer and pressing on the left button that will actually disable the laser indicator right there so as you can see enables and disables and of course the top left indicator on the screen does show it being turned on and off just like that okay so very very simple to operate with instant temperature readout now, of course the modes We'll just cycle through them. Obviously, it needs a further read, but tapping on the mode does show a change in the display or readout. And let's see what happens when we hold down. When we hold down, it gives a degrees Fahrenheit readout indicated with a degree F there. So just like that, pressing and holding does switch back will toggle between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit readouts. So very, very easy to use without having read much of the user manual or any of it at all. Basic use right there with eight degrees Fahrenheit readout right now. And of course, to toggle, press and hold, and it'll show the degrees Celsius readout. and never point it at yourself or in anybody's eyes when using the infrared thermometer. So nice clear color display right there. And there we go, it just automatically went to sleep right there to conserve the battery power. So that's the Genesa Digital Laser Infrared Thermometer. Thanks for watching and happy measuring.